Hey, Donnell High School, this is Mr. Aiden, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at our week one chemical reactions, which will be precipitation reactions. Uh, more specifically, we're going to be taking a look at two precipitation reactions. But before we begin, uh, let's take a look at what we're actually looking for when we write a precipitation reaction. We're going to be taking a look for double replacement reactions, which means we're basically going to be taking a look to find out when we have two aqueous solutions, we'll have a precipitation reaction. Now we want to stay away from words like excess and words like concentrated. We're going to have two aqueous solutions that have very similar concentrations. And we also want to stay away from words like acids or bases. So anything that's an acid or base that's a solution, stay away from those. They're not precipitation reactions. Now all precipitation reactions are written the same way. They have a metal cation with a positive charge and a non-metal anion, which is a negative charge, and they're both aqueous, and they come together to form an ionic compound, a solid, a solid precipitate. Now we want to make sure anytime we're writing a precipitation reaction, we want to make sure we get the right formula for our product, which means we've got to do the crisscross. We've got to make sure we don't forget our charges for our reactants. And last but not least, we've got to make sure we balance both our atoms and our charges. Now, whenever we're writing precipitation reactions, we want to make sure we cross out our spectator ions immediately. These are the things that are never going to precipitate. Those things that we can cross out immediately. And the first thing that jumps out at us is alkali metal ions. Things like sodium, potassium, lithium that are aqueous solutions, we can cross them out. They're never going to do anything. Nitrates, like NO3, minus, they're never going to do anything. Acetates, C2H3O2 minus. And last but not least, ammonium, NH4 plus. These things never precipitate, and they're never going to react from beginning to end, so we can cross them out immediately. Now let's take a look at our first reaction. We have a solution of lead nitrate, which is going to be added to a solution of sodium iodide. We see we have two solutions here. They have pretty much equal concentrations. And so now we're going to be able to take a look at the things that we can cross out. Now out of lead nitrate, we know nitrate will never be a solid. It's always going to be aqueous, always going to be a spectator. And take a look at the sodium iodide. We can cross that guy out for sodium iodide because that's an alkali metal ion. And so we're going to write lead, not forgetting to put lead's charge, which is going to be plus 2. And that is aqueous. And we're going to add it to iodine, which is a halogen, which will be I minus. And when these things come together, the lead ion and the iodine ion, they're going to come together to make lead iodide, of course, which will be Pb I2 after doing the crisscross. And this will be a solid, a precipitate at the end. Now, when we're done writing our reaction, we want to make sure we go back and balance it. If you take a look, we have one lead at the beginning. We have one lead at the end. We have one iodine at the beginning. We have two iodines at the end, so we need a coefficient of two. Now, when we take a look at the charges, the balance of charges out, let's take a look. We have a positive two charge right here. We have two negative ones, which plus two and negative two equal out to a sum of zero. Take a look at a, our solid here. All solids, liquids and gases, have a charge, an oxidation number of zero. All right, let's take a look at our second reaction, which is going to be equimolar solutions of sodium chloride and silver nitrate, which are going to be mixed together. Equimolar means we have equal concentrations, equal molarities. But let's see what we can cross out. Out of sodium chloride, we can cross out our sodium. It's going to be a spectator. Silver nitrate, we're going to cross out our nitrate, will be, which will be a spectator. We're going to put our cation first, which means we're going to put our silver ion first, Ag+. Chlorine is going to go next. Chloride has a negative one charge. And when these come together, they're going to make a precipitate and that precipitate will be silver, which is Ag, chloride, Cl. And that will be my solid, or my precipitate. 
when we go back to balance it, we can see we have one silver, one chloride. One silver, one chloride at the end. We have a plus one charge and a negative one charge, which gives us a charge, a total charge of a sum of zero. We have at the end a solid, which means he has a charge of overall charge of zero. Tune in next week for our week two reactions. And this is Mr. Aiden signing off.